All right, today we're going to be working on a sword. Switch my views here to two views for now. And we'll do perspective and front view. All right, I'm going to start with a box. Um, kind of thin here. Do F3, F4. Get my wireframe here. One, two, three. Let's do three height segments. Um, four. That way we have three in the middle. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and name this sword 001. Why not? And we'll go ahead and do an. Actually, let's. No, let's see. Yeah. Do this in editable poly. Let's go pretty quickly under. Do edge mode. And then go to modeling and then edit. Um, and then there'll be swift loop, right? So you might just have the tabs and that's fine. Just edit, click that, and then you'll find swift loop. You can add this to your quick access bar right here. And we'll go ahead and put edit right there. Awesome. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, I think I'm going to turn this off and collapse some points. So I'm going to select these two points here and we can use our front view if you like. So you can just drag select, get these two points. And we're going to do collapse. Unifying these, these points here. All right, awesome. So we got this nice sharp kind of edge. Uh, looks a little weird. Let's grab this area here and pull it down. And this area over back over here. And maybe something like that for now. Like it. Uh, just going to reshape it. I don't know. I think I want, maybe I want it a little bit rounder. And let's go ahead, let's actually add another loop in here. Uh, let's put it kind of in the middle. And this will give us another chance to also kind of shape this a little bit. All right, so I'm also going to do these two points here, collapse those, and let me just pull that up a little bit. So it's, and the sword itself, I'm going to select the element, is kind of still bulky, so I'm going to scale it right here in the, the Y in the perspective, make it a little bit thinner. And I think I'm going to move this whole edge over. Mm. And I'm going to scale it out just a little bit. There we go. So. Okay, I'm going to go into. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Let's. Do points mode, and I'm going to go ahead and there you go. Alrighty, there you go. So let's just go ahead and do the the hilt here. So we'll take these uh, two points here, and let's. Let's do a bevel, change this to local normal, zero, and then this here, oops, uh, 
Um, yeah, so we're just gonna, it is going to kind of glitch it for the moment, but I'm just going to let it do its thing. And then we'll extrude. Now it's no longer glitching. Yay. And let's use our front view for this because I'm going to say that's That's fine. I might want to just take these two edges here and re kind of center them. We're going to take our bottom here and do an inset. And this is going to be where the handle comes out. So we'll scale this in, kind of trying to start making it. Uh, round-ish. There we go. And I'm going to wait to actually pull it down. And I'm going to go ahead and grab these two here. And do a little bit of an inset. And I'm going to do a bevel. just because another one and another one but ooh. this one I'm gonna because it's not it's not beveling it correctly then I'm gonna go in my Z and Y and then scale it the way I want it to so make it kind of squarish and I'm going to go ahead and pull that up. We got this kind of semi nice uh, curve here. All right. And then I'm going to grab this area here. Let's do a ring. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Oh, we'll just call it good for now. I'll do a connect. We could have just done swift loop too, but take these two edges, scale them out, kind of got a circle here. Um, and the easy way would just be to go ahead and take these four and delete them. That way, that way I can s double click this edge loop. And remember, we can go up to our loops and then loop tools. There you go. There we go. And it'll do circle. Get our wonderful circle here, which I could change this to the bottom. And whoops, let's double click here. Here we go. I'm going to rotate it so it's kind of straight up and down. And then we can take this, let's cap it. Yay. And We'll go ahead and extrude down. So this is kind of that grip, and then I'm going to do like a, some kind of ball detail on the bottom here. Do that. Uh, let's do a bevel. Another bevel. Ooh, that one's waking out. Do Z on the keyboard to zoom in. There we go. Very nice. I'll drag across here. And I'm just going to do kind of a tight bevel looks good to me and there we kind of have a uh, starting sword I mean there are a lot of things that we could do we could double click this and deselect uh, 
the rest of this area, so we only have that. And I can pull this out. And go into points mode and select these here and do a collapse. Come on, there we go. Oh, that's right. We've got to do connect first, and then it'll let us collapse it. Yay. And now we have a, kind of a different uh, sword here at the moment. Carve some details in it or whatever. Or maybe grab these uh, polygons and center them here. center yay so there we go you could do obviously a few more things but just trying to kind of keep it simple and have a little fun with it